Hello everyone, welcome to another Exani Cinema 4D tutorial and in this tutorial we're gonna be learning how to make uh, a really cool uh, uh, in Lightroom what is this in Finite Lightroom for those who don't know it's just uh, a really cool background for your logo or your text or your ob uh, object or whatever so uh, this is an example with a simple cube or uh, this uh, photo right here I also made it uh, I just add the text and the logo in this Lightroom and turned out to be something quite not bad so what I also uh, where I also use this uh, uh, Lightroom is in here so yeah this is just an intro I made like a week ago or so so uh, yeah let's uh, jump in the tutorial so the first thing we're gonna do is to go to the render settings turn to the width to 1920 and the height to 1080 with the resolution of 72 pixels per inch let's just save it as a JPEG in the desktop and name it YouTube or something like that you guys name it whatever you want I mean, uh, the most important thing in here is just uh, the C C C four D file, not the uh, image we're gonna be exporting. Let's add in ambient occlusion and go back to anti aliasing and change it to best. So I think this uh, is the render settings. Let's add a floor and a background. So let's render this real quick and let me show you what this does. So this uh, this part right here is the uh, background as you guys can see and this is the floor. So uh, we in this tutorial we're going to be doing a trick so we can combine these two to make uh, this background right here and we keep this shadow under the object. So let's go back to the uh, cinema 4d and uh, add a the texture of the background so let's go to the color panel and change it the color texture to gradient let's go to the gradient click on it and change the type to circular let's make it from white to uh, something like gray yeah so let's quit that let's uh, drag the material to the uh, the floor and the and also the background so if we render that real quick you can see that the material is uh, repeat it's repeating itself in the uh, in the floor so okay we're gonna get rid of that is go to the texture tag in the floor and then change the projection from flat to frontal let's re-render that and as you can see this floor is still casting shadows or specular I don't, or I don't know so it is more dark than the uh, background so how can I get rid of that let's right click on the floor uh, go to uh, cinema 4d tags and then composite it and then cl click on the checkbox right to the compositing background let's re-render that and let me show you how it will look as you can see it's very really clean very perfect let's uh, add the light first we're gonna go to add a light Let's change the coordinates to 1000 in the x axis, 2000 in the y axis, and 1000 on the z axis. Yeah, let's go back to general and change the type from the uh, shadows from uh, none to shadow map soft. And let's change the color to something that is warm like 
the color I used in here. So yeah, let's uh, control C, control V to duplicate it. Let's go to the coordinates and change the uh, X axis to uh, minus 1000 centimeters. Okay, and uh, the Z axis to minus one thousand centimeters also in here let's change the z axis to minus one thousand yeah so this is these are the coordinates we should have and let's go back to the other light let's go back to general and change the cold layer cold color as a light blue color so yeah let's run with that and you can't see any difference since we don't have any object so Let's add an object real quick and see how that will uh, will look. So yeah, this is just a uh, simple cube, and if we render that, you can see that it's uh, looking like it is on a an infinite room and. Uh, you can see the shadows in here so yeah this is the uh, purpose of why we are making the lightroom so uh, I think this is uh, for this tutorial it's just a real quick quick tip for you guys uh, to make a studio in just five minutes and make really cool stuff and uh, one more thing I am really excited to have uh, the 400 subscribers thank you guys very much if you guys didn't subscribe yet just hit the subscribe button to see our latest videos thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed and like this video and learn something new and uh, see you guys on another tutorial thanks for watching